Hey guys, so I just want to come on here for a couple minutes and show you the correct way that you should be scanning for frequencies using the JTS UF20S or the UF20R dual microphone receivers. Um, try to make this pretty easy and quick. Um, there's a bunch of different channels that you could be on at a reception or at an event um, with these microphones. And so to prevent dropouts, we wanna make sure that we are on the most open frequency that there is. Um, so in order to do this, you're going to press and hold the setup button. That's going to take you to this screen and simply just scroll down and go to scan. You can either press in on the turn knob here or just click the setup button to select. And then we're going to select all groups. It's going to ask you scan all groups, press setup or enter to start scan, press exit to quit. So just to give you a heads up, this is gonna take about seven minutes. So normally whenever I show up to an event, one of the first things I do is I try to get power to my microphones or I'll just go plug them straight into the wall um, and start scanning just so like while I'm setting up, um, I don't maybe get done setting up so quick that I'm still waiting on my microphones and everything to finish the scanning process. So like I said, one of the first things I do is go plug these microphones in and go through this process to scan their frequencies. Um, so I'll kick this off and then I'll be back here in just a few minutes and we'll continue on with the video and I'll show you how the rest of it goes. All right guys, so we're back. Um, this has just finished scanning through all the different frequencies. Um, and as you can see here, so it's came back and it says uh, scan result list. And there are 15 different groups um, that we could have our microphones on. And so what you see here is it shows group one and then what channel it's on. And then down here at the bottom, it says how many open channels are on that group. So as you can see here, kind of depending on where you are at or which venue you're at or where you're at in the city, you're always going to have different results. So that's why it's a good idea to always scan whenever you show up to a new venue or just um, to any venue at all. It seems like for the most part, most of the rural venues that I go to, um, group six or seven have the most available channels on them. Um, so that's what I... It seems like I use for the most part, but you just never know. So you never want to take a chance with a microphone dropping out. So just go ahead and scan anyways. Um, so we're just going to go through here and see which group has the, the most open channels. It looks like about 15 or 16 open channels is about the most that we're going to get with any group. So we're going to select group eight. And then whenever you go to select it, you can just press in on the turn knob. And then it's going to show you which open channels are available. So you can scroll all the way through here and you can see like all these channels are available. And see there it jumped from 24 to 56. So all those channels in between there are not available. And you don't even have the option to select them. Um, that's bad frequency. Something's already taking up that frequency. So we're just going to go back to the start. Um, I'm going to go ahead and select channel 15 and then you can just hit that button again to select channel 15 and then hit the setup button again to save that channel. So then it's going to take us back to this menu and from here you can just hit exit and exit one more time to go back to the start menu and from here um, the next video will be showing you how to properly sync your receiver with your actual handset or belt pack. So stay tuned for that. Hey guys, so in this tutorial, we are going to show you how to pair your receiver with your actual microphone handheld or belt pack. So with these JTS receivers, there are several different IDs that you can essentially um, associate with your receiver. So we're going to go back into the menu by just 
pressing and holding the setup button, scroll down until you find device ID, and then just hit the select button. You can assign any ID on these from 0 to 255. So you can have up to 255 devices um, at one time. So we're just going to go down and just select one and hit setup to save that. And then we're going to hit the exit button to go back out to the main menu. So then we have our microphone handset here, handheld mic. Um, we've already turned it on. If you slide this over, then we have a few different options. We, we have the set button, the down button, and the arrow up button. So to get into the menu that we want, we're going to press and hold the set button. And that's going to take us into this menu. And if we go down, you're going to see device ID. Just simply hit the set button. And then you're going to be able to select which device ID you want the handheld to be on. So for whatever receiver you're wanting to pair a handheld mic or a bell pack to, it has to be on the same device ID. So we want this on one. So we're just going to go ahead and hit one. It's going to say cancel there because this one was already set to one. And then to simply go back to the right menu to the home menu, we're just going to hit the power button on the handset itself. And that's going to take us back to the main menu. So once we're here, to, to sync the receiver with the handheld, we just simply have to hit the Remo Set button. And as you can see, that's going to sync up the handheld to the receiver. So now we have the handheld and the receiver both on group eight, channel 15. So this is going to allow us to use the microphone like we should be able to. And as you can see, if we test the mic, it looks like we're getting a good feedback. And in the next few videos, we'll show you some different settings that you can go through and adjust on the receiver. And then using Remo Set, you can automatically send those settings to the microphone itself. So you don't have to go through the small screen on the handheld microphone to make all those changes. So stay tuned for those.